hello friend welcome to another video about lab view in this video we will discuss about the TCP IP communication in a lab view I have created a demo version for that uh, features in a TCP IP data read and write between PC A and PC B so uh, I have created two VIs here representing PC A and PC B in the PC from the PC A I have one control to write to the PC B when I will press this button the indicator on the PC B should be highlight okay and the same from the PC B when I press the write to PC A button the indicator on a PCA should be high so this data communication send and receive is done by the TCP IP send and receive uh, uh, VI in the lab view on the downside you can see that this is actually the PCA time and this is the read PCA time from PCB means that this time of PCA is sent to PCB and then it, this is not actually the time uh, it is not shown here but this time is sent from PCA to PCB and then uh, PCB sent back that time to PCA and that PCA received this time so uh, the time actual time at the PC and the data in sense of time sent and received back is displayed here and this is actually the dis uh, delay the how many times how many second it took to receive back the time from PCA then to PCB and then PCB to PCA this is actually the four second you can see also here this time difference is 45 this is 41 means the difference is four second and this is the same from the PCB this is the real time of PCB and this time is actually read back from the PCA it means that the PCB time is sent to PCA then PCA sent back this time to PCB and the PCB read this time uh, from the PCA this is actually the PCB time but it is in the loop from PCB to PCA then PCA to PCB read and the difference between these two is again for second why the difference is for second because I have created the delay in PCA and PC2 VI of two second each so two second from delay from the PCA then two second delay from the PCB the sum is actually the four second delay now I show you how it is going to work when I press the button on the PCA right to PCB let's see when I press this one you see after this four second this LED is high because the delay is a four second when I press off it then after the four second it should be off okay now the same from the PCB when I press this button the PCA indicator should be high after four second let's see oh, no, it is high and when I make it off the after four second this indicator should be off okay now uh, this I think clear now let's uh, let's uh, move to the block diagram that how it is going to work uh, I just stop this VI and go to block diagram <coughs> okay this is actually the PCA uh, I have written that write to PCB means that uh, from data here is being uh, uh, write to PCB so this function is actually uh, a TCP connection to open the TCP connection open TCP connection okay and here I have written a local uh, host because the read and write data is actually monitor on the same PC that's why I have written the local host if it is if this two VI is actually run on the different uh, PC then here you have to write the IP address of your uh, PC okay I have opened it this one okay uh, you have to write the IP address of a PCB okay and this is the port number and the minus one is actually timeout uh, a minus one means that uh, I have not configured the timeout unlimited timeout okay 
so this data is uh, TCP connection is open and then I write this data what data this is actually the button boolean button is uh, false and uh, true and false is actually converted to 1 and 0 that's the number 2 decimal uh, decimal string and this, then this is written to uh, the local host on the port number 504 and the same uh, I have written to the shared variable okay because this data have to be your network shared variable that's why I write on the shared variable then this shared variable will be read in the PC B okay let's say I open on the PCB okay this is PCB this data on the port 504 from the local host is read on the right uh, <coughs> sorry this one is actually read uh, this is the local host 504 uh, timeout defined is unlimited and this is listen TCP IP TCP IP listen okay then one is one represent or one represents the number of byte how many byte to read I said one byte because this is just a boolean and minus one represent the timeout unlimited and this is being the read from the PC A okay but these are the from the shared variable which I have configured here in the PC let's say I if I show you this is the PC A these all the shared variable of PC A and these all the shared variable of PCB so this way you can make a communication uh, between two PC uh, between two PC or two VIs by TCP IP network again I just click this button again this one you see let it be configured okay now I'm gonna start time delay is four second four second this 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 right here right here this is high and this should also be high this is all okay now this is off this is off off okay I hope you liked the video thank you very much for watching take care and Allah Hafiz